everybody and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World the game because today there is a new tantalizing teaser for a terrible traumatic tumor no damn I was trying to just go with T words and it just it just didn't work anyway no we have the new or well it's not out yet it, it, it's it's being teased the first ever Cenozoic hybrid now it's kind of interesting because I don't know why this always happens, but every time Ludia decides to um, put out a new f creature or a new set of creatures, there's always a leak. There's always an one that isn't supposed to be shown that's shown. And I don't know how every time they have an update, this happens. Because if you remember, um, I'll probably put up the image if I still have it. There was a uh, there was a Cenozoic hybrid that some people managed to get in the game when the game briefly updated and you could get it. And then shortly after, the game was taken taken offline and then put back online without it. And it just always happens. Every time there's like some sort of update or there's always a leak. There's always something that happens. And it was like Megaloceros with Enotherium or something. Well, now apparently, no, that, ignore that. That didn't happen. Sweep that under the rug. No, we have this thing. The Cenozoic Hybrid. And of course, it's the Mammoth and... Some, I mean, is it, does it show what it is? I don't think it will, actually. We'll go into Cenozoic. No, no, it's not there. So it's probably, it's the mammoth, it has to be the mammoth, really, because it's the only, unless it's Deinotherium, but it's got the tusks, it's going to be a mammoth. So it's probably the mammoth and a Lasmotherium. Uh, I can't think of anything else that has like a giant horn on its head except for Bronotherium, like Brontotherium. But um, I don't think it's going to be that. It would make more sense if it was Elasmotherium and Woolly Mammoth. Um, I, I really wanted the Woolly Mammoth and Titanoboa. Can you imagine a snake with tusks? Actually, it would just look like a Titan Titanoboa with tusks, wouldn't it? And a little bit of fur. It'd be a shame because I'd love to see some mutant, like, elongated mammoth with uh, a Titanoboa head, you know what I mean? That would look awesome. Um, but long, long, long ago were the days of expecting um, models and hybrids that looked like that. When we first thought about hybrids, it was a possibility. But then it didn't happen. So we're here today because, um, would you believe, we're working on the level 40 Dunkleosaurus. Now, already it's halfway done and it's still, it's costing 140 bucks to speed up. So I'm not going to do it. We're going to, um, we're going to save that because I've already got today's thumbnail, guys. Oh! <laughs> Remember, the success to a YouTube video is all determined by its thumbnail. As you will see, plenty of content creators that expect the video to do well, and then it doesn't, they quickly change the thumbnail because they expect it. Oh, oh, hello. Oh. That's the reason why the video hasn't done too well. Now, this may be the case. It may not be the case, but you will see it plenty. I've, I have even been... And done it myself. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, and sometimes I just change the thumbnail because maybe I was rushed. <laughs> oh, no! No! Cancel that! Oh, my God! I almost just spent 50 quid. God freaking damn it! That's because the packs keep on moving. Stop it, Ludia. Oh, my God! I almost spent 50 quid. I mean, thank God it asked me, are you sure? Because, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> you little bugger, you... Right, well, uh, we got some good books today. I mean, every day we get 300 books. So, that's good, baby. So, we got £33 uh, pound to spend on the the macro S DNA. What's my Oh, is this instead of micro? It's macro. So, I mean, you get loads. So, you, got, you get 80 up to 80, it says. So, you'll get 79 or 78 because, oh, oh jip you out of one. Why not? <laughs> So you're pretty much going to get 80, uh, 160, 320. Now, if I was to get 320, it's not going to help me at all. If you really, it should be like 500 because at least then you might get like, you might get it because uh, it only costs 2000. Um, still uh, getting the, so what I've done, actually, you'll notice a lot of dinosaurs have disappeared in my park. The dinosaurs that have disappeared are the ones that, um, oh, including the raptor, you need to go bye-bye. <laughs> uh, the dinosaurs that are left, uh, I say that actually, hybrids do uh, get some good uh, super hybrid DNA. The ones that are left, sorry, I'll get there eventually, are the ones that give good or at least are legendary or hybrids or something like that. My theory being that when we do get a code red or a code 18, code 19 code 13 whatever it is um it's gonna be one of these dinosaurs and that usually means that it's going to be um good um super dna like if you get it on 
I'm trying to think. No. What, what's this one? Uh, yeah. Lim, 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 lim. You'll only have like five raptor DNA. But I've had it once or even twice where it was something good. Um, and I got 15 super raptor DNA. And I was like, 15? That's like a whole quest. That's awesome. So uh, I'm filtering through the dinosaurs that are, you know, that could give uh, good DNA. I actually, I got um, micro, macro, this one, what's it called? Microposaurus. Um, just before I started there, and he only gave me five uh, DNA, so I'm gonna get rid of the Sarcosuchus, uh, especially Kool-Aid. Um, actually, uh, Pecky Isis did give me uh, some good super uh, DNA, so maybe it's not a case of... Is, is that like a good dinosaur? Is that... No, that's a good one. Uh, maybe it's not a case of legendary status, but in my head, we're, we're still working it out. Maybe if it's a legendary, or if it's a hybrid, or a tournament creature, um, you'll get good super raptor DNA. Um, so we're gonna go onto here, and we're gonna go into coin, we're gonna go into cash, and we're gonna get our 300. Also, yes, I have done it. I think I have finally maxed out all of the, uh, all of the quests, which means we should have the best hybrid statue. So we go into here, and there should be, wait, what? Oh, level 40 plus. Aha! Well, we're almost there, because I did put the, um, Dilophosaurus straight away into, actually, I think it's out. Never mind. Yeah, there it is. I put the Dilophosaurus straight away into the incubation or the, uh, hi what would you call it? Creation lab, I think it is. And instantly, the first pop, bam, didn't speed it up, but got the level 40 right away. So that is the last badge unlocked, unlocking the best statue with the biggest radius for collecting coin. And I think it's in, is it Indominus? I think it's Indominus. Well, we'll have a look. Oh, we got a go 19 boys. Oh, it's Unicorn Wizard. And he's giving us 10. So that's better than 5. That could have been a common dinosaur. Okay, okay, come on. I've gotten good at this, I think. Especially with the bar at the bottom. I used to be quite bad. Um, like, there's been occasionally times when I've done that. And then at the end it says failed. And I don't know why. It's like there's one hidden that I just haven't clicked. There we go. <laughs> here we go. Let's get that perfect DNA bar. Okay, here it is. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> yeah! I'm just so good. We can do it again. No, okay. We'll do. We'll probably the last one will probably be it. Okay, come on, come on, come on. We can do 60 DNA now. Come on, it doubles every time. Oh, oh. Oh! I just need to do one. I just need to do one, and then the rest are extra DNA. Come on. Yes! Look at all that DNA. Oh yeah, boy! 2,475. Boom! Perfect containment. I've been practicing. Oh, that was awesome. And not only that, but we get 10 uh, Super Raptor DNA as well as 2,000 normal DNA. Oh, are you impressed? Subscribe for more. <laughs> Share it to your friends. Oh, look at that. It shows all the coin that's being uh, accumulated at the bottom. That's quite cool. Uh, okay. So... So, 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 we need to go into here, and this is it. Not only have you been impressed by my perfect conta containment skills, I was going to say, conta contaminant? Contaminant skills. Here, finally, the last one. Done. That me So we've maxed up. This is it. We have the Indominus Rex um, statue. Whoop and it looks kind of weird because it's all hollow, so you can see the inside of the mouth through the top of the mouth. But the radius on this bad boy extends all the way, almost down, all the way down there. That's crazy. So he's actually too high up. So what you want to do really is place him maybe here. Like, oh no! Whoops! I put it in the storage. Wait, how do I, is it in here? Is storage in here? Asset all. What's all? Where's, where's me buildings? Is it in here? If I go to buildings and then I go to... Is it st uh, decorations? Is it decorations? Is Oh, there it is. Yeah, badge beacon. Oh, badge beacon. <laughs> so let's see what its radius is. So it still catches all of them. I moved it down so it catches even more of that way. Basically, you want to put it in the center. If it's in the... If Indominus Rex statue is in the center, Oh, it'd be so cool if we put it like there and you just had the Indominus Rex statue in the middle. But I don't want to demolish it because that'd be it's just kind of a waste. So, 
We, I, I mean, you've been impressed, but basically, we've got the episode. It's over 10 minutes. We can put 20 ad rolls in it. But, you know what? I'm feeling generous. Let's see if we can do some of these quests to try and bag us some more extra super DNA. So, what's this? Mighty Moolah. So, we'll, we have to, we'll probably go for that. Yeah. We'll go for a level one. I could... Oh, that's right. So, once we've done the Dunkleosaurus, we'll keep on going towards the rare hybrids. Because that's... Oh, wow. They're actually evenly matched. Even though it's level 1 and that's a level 40. Just shows um, what a uh, a frigging type advantage can do. So, unless he goes for 1. Is he dead? Oh, he's 3 off. Well, close enough. Doesn't matter. Um, even if we die here, um, which we do. He's got nothing and really it was the level 20 that I wanted. 414. As well as 1,000 health. Really, very good. Um, now, even if he goes for four, that only does like 800, I think. So, I'm hoping. <laughs> ah, he doesn't go for it anyway. Well, we may as well speed up. So, I am I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on with this game. I really like it, like the code um, 13 uh, every now and again that pops up. Um, that's quite, it's, it just adds an extra dynamic. It's like, ooh, ooh, I've got to be, you know, usually you would sail through this game, you could be falling asleep and you wouldn't be paying attention to what's going on. But now with that code 13, it's like, oh, and then you've got to pay attention. You can't be sleepy while, you know, or like watching something while doing that contain, contain, oh my God, I can't even say, containment. Why do I, I was going for the right word, but I was still trying to go for contaminant. <laughs> oh. Anyway, but yes, yes. I, I mean, I'm liking the way this game's going. It's been, what, five years? No, it can't be. Three years ago, it's coming up to four years now. I think it is, is four years since this game uh, released. And, oh, I think we killed them. Um, and they just keep adding more and more stuff to it. It's a shame that Jurassic Park Builder got left in the dust, but I would rather have the updates that are in this game and Jurassic World Alive then having maybe half the updates, and then every now and again in Jurassic Park Builder, having a um, a new dinosaur, which you can only get by buying packs or something ludicrous like that. I'd rather have this. Um, and it's funny, uh, one of the ex-graphic designers for uh, Jurassic Park Builder... Oh, there we go, we got another Code 13. Um, he put, like, something on, um, on the internet, and it was, like, loads of these different... Uh, games that could have been included, like a fossil digging ga mini game for Jurassic Park Builder, and then something else, um, and then it was found by the community. Oh, we got super Kool Aid! <gasps> Are you ready, guys? How much is this gonna be? Six. Are you f six? Oh, it's code nineteen. Anyway, okay. Well, anyway. It, it, well, maybe maybe these guys are harder, and the prizes are random. Please don't be harder. No, it's easy. So, doesn't matter what dinosaur you've got. Um, it's, um, it, the, the reward or the difficulty is random. So, if, if I wanted to, and if this was back in 2015 when this game had just came out, I would be staying up probably all day and all night just playing this. Just trying to get all the raptor super DNA so we could unlock Indo Indominus Rex or Indoraptor at the time. That's what would have happened. Oh, I'm, oh, I missed it. Oh, that could have been it. We could have done it there. Oh, no, we need two more. Two more, okay. One, two. There we go. So, didn't get all of the extra DNA. Could have got an extra maybe 200. But uh, 200 DNA plus six uh, Super Raptor DNA. I can't shake a lamb, stick at it. So, we're gonna go, we'll go into here and collect uh, those two sets. Those are 14. So, a 16 of each. Um, bringing us even closer. I think we're probably going to get Indoraptor level 20 before we're even going to get Monostegatops. Um, we're probably going to get Monostegatops level 40 quicker than Indoraptor just because uh, it's only going to be a thousand once we do that. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, 22 hours. We've got that event. And what we got? 22 hours. Oh, what? We've got so much coming up tomorrow. Dinosaur Charge. That's interesting. Defeat nine opponents. And it's a gold pack. Uh, test Your Strength, which is always easy for DNA. Uh, Club Tales, which is another gold pack. And then Boosted Battle Event times five. Oh my. And then you got an Aquatic Wave. Oh wow, you got like, you basically got three gold packs coming up tomorrow. But the Cenozoic Battle, this is 
the equivalent of a gold pack. Um, and this can be tough. Look at that. You have to arrange it by rarity in order for it to make bloody sense. Uh, because there's no way Titanoboa is weaker than Indukatherium in health or attack. So that still needs a little bit of fixing. So we'll go for Indukatherium. We'll go for Brontotherium. Actually, tell you what. Let's do the classic strategy that I've been employing. So we'll go for that. Now, what's weak is... Mammoth is weak to the Glyptodon. But the Glyptodon doesn't have too much attack. So I'll go for one reserve right off the bat. Making sure he'll go for two. Um, and once we take that out, the Mammoth should be pretty good. Um, you know, to be honest, I didn't have to put in the weakest dinosaurs because it's not the tournament creatures. I could have put in something that was fairly decent, but, you know, couldn't be killed in one hit. However, I didn't feel like doing that, apparently. <laughs> but now, the Mammoth has survived no matter what. Uh, even if he goes for two. And he only goes for one, which is great, because I wasted one of my turns. He's wasted one of his. Right, so now I'll go for one and then four reserves. And please, yeah, he went for a block. Okay, he still can't kill me, even if he goes for full on three. And if he does go for a full on three, I can go for the least amount of attacks. Oh, he goes for two. That's good. Three or two or one, either way, would have been pretty good. So we kill him like that, factor in one. And then we'll go for two block just in case. He did, he does go for it. Awesome. Okay. Now you're weak to me, son. He may even switch here, knowing that he's weak. Oh, he does waste to go. That's a bit of a shame. Because I could have went for some reserves there. Unless he goes for two. Or three. Oh, he went for two! Oh my god! That was perfect! Wow, okay. Yeah, he's only got one block. And, well, he didn't go for it. He's got one reserve. So he's going to go for four. Yeah, there it is! He's only got one block. And we've got seven. Awesome. Right, so we can kill him in three. One, two, three. Factor in one. And then one, two. And then one reserve. Because I don't think... Bro Bronotherium, whatever it's called. Eumetherium? Unitarium. Can't kill me in three. That's like 1,500. Just probably oh, just over 2,200 attack. Um, ooh, ooh, should we go for it? We kill him in two. So he has to block for more than three. There you go. Done. Did it legit. And that, that was a tough battle as well. That's right. Live it up, Mr. Mammoth. Soon you will be fused into that new hybrid. So let's keep going. Uh, so this time we want something. Oh, we, we need the mammoth again, pretty much. Um, so 300 bucks. Ah, I don't want to. I don't want to do it. But, uh, nothing I can really do because everything's good against them. Like a uh, Titanoboa and Hyenodon aren't going to stack up to the Utrantheriums. So I think I am going to have to spend the 300 bucks I got today to win this pack. But hopefully we win some bucks from it. So we'll get that speed up. There you go. Uh, we'll get one. We'll buy back that and tell you what, tell you what. We'll put in a dinosaur that's, or sorry, a creature. I shouldn't say dinosaur. We'll put in that. There you go. And then we'll put in a waste and that'll do. So the reason why I put Thalicus Milius in is because he can survive one hit. So I'm going to go for one block. And he may even switch actually. Oh, well, there you go. Well, we'd still die in one hit, so... Now, this is actually good for us. Um, now, I could have went for two block, and if I had, he would have killed me no matter what, and that would have been wasted. So, I kind of gambled, and it paid off. Was that a stock sound effect? I'm pretty sure that was, like, the Tartar. Yeah, that sound effect there. That's, that's a Tartarus demons from um, Age of Mythology. It's the same sound effect. Wow, okay. Right, well, anyway. Uh, so, he's got nothing. One, two, kills him. I'm gonna go- there, there it is again! It's the marsupial lion. He has, like, a stock sound effect. It's like the scrabs in Oddworld. Like, Abe's Odyssey and Abe's, Abe's Exodus have, like, uh, stock sound effects for scrabs. And I remember, I was like, that that's a scrab sound effect. Until I heard it in Crash Bandicoot. And the little, like, rat things that run about, I think it's in, um... Wrath of Cortex, or is it Cortex Strikes, Strikes Back? I think it's Cortex Strikes Back. Uh, and they have the same sound effects that the uh, Scrabs do. And it's like, what? What is this? Oh, wait. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we kill him in two, factor in two, and then two block. And he only went for one. Wham! No! And this guy's a tiny bit stronger with like four extra damage. Or five. Go on then, what are you gonna do? You're gonna do nothing. So just in case, so I don't die, I'm gonna switch in you, and I'm gonna go for three block. I'm oh, sorry, three reserve. No point in blocking because he's gilded. Oh my god, he's got eight, and he goes for three. So he's got a max of five block, but I can kill him in two, so that's seven. So one, two, he's dead, and then factor in the five block. Did he go for it? No, he only went for one. 
That's right, charge towards... Oh, there you go, Stone Edge. It's a critical hit. That's a lot of damage. Big hit. It went down. <laughs> right, and one more. Oh, 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 we've done a mission, apparently. And the last one is... Okay, you know what? I'm not, I'm not buying back. There we go. We'll do that just to make sure that we get one of the missions. And you know what? We're going to have to go big or go home. We're going to do that, do that, do that. That'll do. Um, so I'll go for one reserve. God, it's level 89. Oh, it switches. Oh, oh God, it killed me one hit. Didn't see that. Oh, God, that was close. Okay, three reserves. <laughs> oh, he might not go for us. Oh, well, you know what? I'm happy with that. Okay, Titana Boa. This is your time to shine, Snicky. What do you think? Was that a good snake impression? Damn well it was. <laughs> and a tail swipe. Do you remember that? What was it? Headbutt. Charge. Tail swipe or something like that. I can't... It was swipe, charge, headbutt, I think. Oh, God. Woo! You little nipper. I'll show you. And there we go. I think we won. I fucked it in one extra. I think he may have had... Oh, that club tail. And he goes down. Which battle system do you prefer? Leave it in the comments. Do you prefer Jurassic Park Builders, where it was like, you had three specials that you could use, and then extra, I think it cost loads. I think it was like three specials. Or, and then you had the headbutt, charge, and strike. Or did you prefer, do you prefer this one with tight matchups, and then a balance between how much attacks you've got, blocks and reserves? Or do you prefer Jurassic World Alive's, where you, it's like Pokemon, where you've got types of uh, moves that have percentage chance, chance to slow down stats and stuff like that. I don't know which one I prefer most. Oh god, is that enough? Whoa! It's not, it's not! Oh no! Oh, I didn't exit! I didn't exit. Right, we lost. We friggin' lost. My god. Oh no. I thought it was done! I thought it- Oh well, we've lost yet. Yeah, it's opponent's turn. He's gonna think I've got nothing. He's gonna go for four anyway, because it's the last one. No, I'm not having you kill us. Nope. Starting again. Oh, I can't believe that. Cenozoic. Really? Oh, so close. I mean, really, all I needed was a mammoth. If I just bought my mammoth back again, we could have done it. Um, so, I mean, what do we win? 100 bucks, 100 bucks, 100 bucks. We're still down. Ah, uh, you know what? Fine, fine, whatever. Let's just freaking get the mammoth. Um, so, hmm. We'll do that. No, it was so close, though. I didn't expect Titanoboa to die. Okay, well, we may as well go for one reserve. Um, he's not going to switch, I don't think. He's just going to go for two. Okay, that's good. So we can go for two attack, which will kill it. Um, and then um, he's going to have two attack, one reserve. Now, the reason why I'm not going for a block here is because Marsupial Lion can't kill me with one hit. Because he's going to switch out. I can't believe that. It was so close. Yeah, I liked all of the battle styles. Um, they just seem to get better and better. Um, I mean, the thing was, with Jurassic Park Builder, it was easy, because the way the bots were programmed was that they would always, like, just randomly waste their specials, um, and blocks within the first few goes. So what you would do is you would just have a health tank out first, and then leave your super heavy attacker, uh, to sweep in the last position. Um, I'm gonna go for that. I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, 400? Right, okay, yeah, we've won. Awesome. Um, and then with this one, like, it, it's it's kind of like, you can exit out the game and come back in. So it's basically broken by a simple glitch like that. Um, and then with Jurassic World Alive, there's no way to really cheat the system. Because if you run out of time, you just go for a regular attack. And, I mean, unless you've got all the dinosaurs maxed, there's no, like, there's just a variety of dinosaurs. Um, so it went from, like, being able to predict it, to being able to break it, to not being able to jip the system at all. And we didn't get any books, so we're 600 bucks down the drain. Fantastic. We're on 70,000. We've ended the episode with less than 70,000. But, hey, we got some extra VIP points. Um, and more importantly, we got some uh, Super Raptor and Super Monolophosaurus DNA. Getting us closer towards 
Indoraptor, and Mono Stegotops. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye!